Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In this session, we're going to see open source bot development platform task T or task it. So let's try and understand what is task it. Task it is an open source, no code, low code solution. And it's built on top of .NET framework. Most of the open source RP tools are developed on top of Python or Java. We don't have a lot of tools which are built or powered by .NET, open source tools. Closed source tools we have a lot, but open source tool we have very few, one such is Taskit. It is very helpful to the organization where you only have .NET developers and they taking over Taskit and extending them or integrating with their actual development process are some of the advantage this tool can provide. So other features which includes, it can perform automation on both desktop and web applications. It has one of the exciting feature which is not so common or prevalent in a lot of RPA tools is screen recording or capability to record the screen and convert that recorded steps into a bot script. And it's free under Apache license. Before getting started, let's understand the pre-request for task it. What is that we need? So TaskKit requires an operating system which is predominantly Windows because it's powered by .NET and it needs a JVM JDK for some other components. The system spec or recommended by TaskKit is Windows 10 and above, a server 2012 or 2016 or server 2019 with a mere 4 GB RAM. 2 GB also works fine and 1 GB minimum disk space and 2 CPUs and anything above .NET Framework 4.8. So let's get started. So we'll see how to download, install, and build a first part. So to download, it's pretty simple. And go to GitHub, go to this location, and download the zip file, which is available, which we will be seeing in the demo. And we'll further process other steps as well. So welcome back. And uh, in your computer or in your operating system, launch your browser favorite browser in my case i am launching google chrome you can browse launch any other browser you may like and you can go to github site github github.com and then you can go in the search bar of github and you can say task t it should generally retrieve you the task t repository and from in the repository you have a release location which you can see which is over here you can click on this to go to a release link or you can directly go to the release link which is over here in the browser and you can go and download it directly from this location and you have an asset which is a windows asset which is this if you see it's, it's a 20 mb file approximately and if you want to download a source code and then want to develop it you can also do the same from here uh, just go and click on it uh, to download it so download will start and uh, download will basically be available in your defined download location of your browser so go to the download location download it in download location which is in downloads and in the download you can extract so it's a zip file as you see it's a compressed zip file and you can say right click and you can say extract all click on a extract all so click on extract all i would recommend to download it into c drive and uh, it's not mandatory, but you can download it in any other location. We'll go and extract it in C drive, a folder called task T, and we'll extract it here. So you can see you have a task T, and then you have release, and you have all the items. In the release folder, you have a file called task T, you can see here, which is an application file. You can double click this to open the file or you can make a shortcut. I'm going to make a shortcut and say right click over here and say shortcut and in the shortcut browse go to your location and uh, go to task it and release and then you can search for the task T and say next and say finish. So now you can see task T is created and you can now just double click it it will start and as soon as you when you start it this is the screen which will show up the screen contains a lot of uh, tools which you have or actions which you can use and you have a lot of uh, help files now let's test or build a bot 
and uh, see let's create, try to create a first bot and see if the task t installation which we have done is working fine or not here now we are going to create a first bot on task t to create a first bot in task t we are going to do hello world equivalent of bot or we are going to de design hello world kind of a task t program which you can do by clicking over here and then say show message and when you click on show message show message will come in and you can just define whatever the message you have in this case i'm going to say hello world and this is first bot message from task t and you click ok so once you click ok this basically shows you the step and you can save this by clicking on save and save it in your desired location whichever location you want to save in my case i'm going to save it in this location task t underscore first bot and i'll say hello world and it saves you in all the save all your test in terms of an xml file just save it so it gets saved and it runs so when it runs you see the message that this has been highlighted here and you have a message so it shows that it's working you can see this is being executed and you can say click ok and it, you can confirm that it's execution it basically will turn from orange to other color to green and it finishes and it, it implies that it's basically working so what we have seen is we have seen what is task t and how to download and set up created a first hello world bot using task t to confirm it is working so this concludes our session thanks for watching see you another one